he arrives, eclipses the sun, becoming the feast and the wine and the dessert. Touch the scar and it will offer some astounding advice. Loveliness fades, but not grace. The world loves lightning less than fire. Love opens the hands for kindness, and kindness is a debt you never tire of repaying. Nice. And I'll, I'll uh, read you uh, from Cold Fountains, and um, since it's a very short poem, I can read, probably have enough time to read it in your languages, so I think it's uh, okay, fair enough, yeah. Che tanha raha mi shabam dar junoon shab shah, che bidari talkhi dar khane dar intizaran nishista ast, che qalbam sedaay tarami tapad baz, che az budan ba tu dunam. و فباره ها رنگ و شاق شب را کشیدند How alone I feel tonight wandering into the city's delirium How bitter the confrontation awaiting me back home How the pounding of my heart echoes your voice How far I am from holding you and the fountains illuminated the ecstasy of lovers at night. Oh. Ooh, you guys are good. Very, very good. Well, we want to thank you. We're going to uh, you just stay with us while we do a little banter about uh, upcoming events. Uh, you just heard, um, you got to tell me if I pronounce this right, Mahmoud Karimi Haka. Good, perfect. Great. And Bill Wolak. Great. Like, okay, you guys are great. Are and you guys hey. appearing anywhere in Chicago besides right here now on this? We had, we had, we had a reading last night at Booksellers. Oh, yeah, you so did? Yes. Okay, that's, I knew that I saw something. The you were also that we on BEZ. Yeah. You know, yeah, ne next sure. time you're coming to town, you tell Danny, who's the booker, to uh, <laughs> set something up at the Heartland. I have acquired, uh, my daughter Casey Blue uh, calls herself a poet, and uh, it's inspired me to enjoy more poetry than ever. And. Uh, Three of you are my favorite. I'll boys. have to tell our publicist, Danny Postel, about this. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're out there, Danny. Um, we want to say next week, one week from today, is the Heartland anniversary. Um, 36 years, baby. Wow. That's it. 36 wow, years since we uh, began something that we clearly had no idea what we were getting ourselves into, which is a good thing in the youth. We're very um, grateful. Very grateful, and uh, maybe we'll even, if we're back on our own stage, introduce our newest and third partner, uh, Tom Rosenfeld, on the show next week. Interview yeah, the, him. There's been a lot of rumors about uh, whether Katie and I are in or out of the heartland. We have taken in a new partner, and uh, we're excited about that, and we will share more as uh, all that develops. Yeah, next week we'll share yeah. more. But if we don't have the technical difficulties fixed, we will be down here. and We'll still share more. Anyway. I got a couple other announcements. Okay. Uh, as part of the Heartland uh, anniversary weekend, it's the annual Heartland Heat of the Summer 5K run. So if you want to participate in that race, uh, and we, we're all born athletes, uh, you would show up at the Heartland before 8 o'clock. And we'll be uh, glad to have you, and we'll have a lot of fun running around out there by the lake. Uh, if you uh, want to know about what's coming up on Live from the Heartland and uh, want to be on our email list, please contact either Michael at Heartland Cafe or Katie at Heartland Cafe. Uh, I want to thank uh, Twin Peaks, who uh, that was their music you heard during the musical breaks, and they are playing tomorrow at the Cobra Lounge about 3.30 in the afternoon. That's 235 North Ashland, I believe. And I want to encourage, uh, I want to actually thank all the people who make this show possible. Uh, Paul and Mary Wozniak, Angel Herrera, Eli Sloan, Lisa Smith, Laura Herman, Daniel Kugler, and the newest guy, Jay Serrate. Hey. Uh, we uh, got any other announcements, Katie, other than that the White Sox won well, again? It, yeah, go White Sox. And uh, uh, this Monday would be the 90th birthday of my mother, um, and I'm thinking of her. Um, something that she would uh, always regret it was that her birthday became synonymous with Hiroshima Day. And uh, so um, when we're thinking about love, when we're thinking about breaking down walls or turning walls into glass and breaking them down, somebody's giving me a hello. No, we're going to do one more poem. Oh, okay. Hey, I hear there's music on next, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here's, here's a poem to lead into that. Okay. Round song. 
I need a song round as a glass blower's lips, round as the shadows and bells, a song tangled with wishes and promises, a song heavy with ripeness and the aroma of fruit. I need a song that takes coursing blood and makes it quicken, that, uh, the curls of the body that arcs with shuddering, a song of echoing moans in empty alleyways past midnight, a song that licks insistently wherever your body blushes. I need a song twirling like a tongue tip around your nipple, a song irresistible as the silk lightning of your hair, a song that bends the legs wrapped around a lover's waist, a song that coaxes your thighs open like sunlight. I need a song round as the bruised bite mark on a shoulder, a song that sways like the hips dancing to the radio, a song uh, like a bridge about to collapse, a song that's blind as rain. I need a song that's round as roots clutching a stone, a song flawless as the pearl that rolls along your waiting lips, a song round as the dreamer's clenched fist, a song that circles in you like blood. Oh, thank you, and thank you so much for listening to the Live from the Heart. Bob Merritt will play one of those songs coming right up on the uh, Gospel Hour. Um, and please join us every week at Live from the Heartland, 88.7 on your dial. Please also do all the good you can in the world, because the world needs all the good you can do. All power to, to the, the people. people. Thank you. Great.